Hey guys, it's Leanne. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not new and thank you so much for returning to watch me and hopefully subscribing. So on that note, can I just please remind everyone to please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Instagram, which I will leave on screen. So today's video is just a review, a very short but sweet review on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. So I've got two shades. So I've got number 55, which is Driver, which is this one. And that's what I've currently got on my lips now. And the other shade is Loyalist, which is number five. So that's more of a pinky shade. So this video is a first impression slash review video of these two shades. So, if you want to see my thoughts and opinions on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the aforementioned shades, then please keep on watching. So, the first shade I'm going to be swatching today from the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink range is this shade which is number five loyalist so that is this shade now the second shade i'm going to be swatching is the shade driver which is number 55 this is more of a light pink shade and this is more of a brown shade i'd say but both seem like shades i'd wear so i'm intrigued to try them out so straight away i think i'm going to prefer the shade driver so driver is more of a brown and this one is more of a pink so i'm just going to be lining the lips first with my favorite lip line at the moment which is the morphe sweet tea liner making sure that the lips are dry as well is very important So the first shade I'm going to be going in with is the shade Loyalist, which is number five. So I'm not sure that this colour will actually match with this lip liner, but I can only try. So actually this shade really does go very well with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. So even though it looks very, very pink, as you'll see here, it looks very, very pink and I did think it weren't gonna actually match. It actually does seem to go very well. So this is a close up look. And that color is so much nicer than I actually expected it to be. So yeah, one thing I'd say is the shades do seem to be a little bit misleading just from what the outside looks like compared to when it's on the lips. It seems a little bit of a different tone. So yes, I'm very, very impressed with this color. I only ever apply one, one coat of these and I do know that they do last for a very long time. They're very matte, but they do take a while to dry down. So that's something to just keep in mind. But once it's dried down, it's completely matte and you can literally have this on all day. You don't need to worry about reapplying and the shade ranges are absolutely amazing. So, so far, I'm so, so happy with this colour. I'm just going to remove this colour and then I'm going to try now the shade driver. So I'm going to try going in with a wipe now to try and wipe the colour off and then go in with micellar water because they really are very, very long lasting. But even with a wipe, I do have to be very, very firm to get this off. So now I'm going to go back in with the micellar water just to get the lip liner off. And any last traces of this shade. So I would say that most of that is off now. 
So now I'm just gonna reline the lips and go in with the second shade. So the lips are dry. They actually feel very numb because of how hard I've just had to actually rub my lips to remove the product. So I'm going in again with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. These lipsticks as well are actually very, very opaque. So I feel like that's why I only need one coat because when I put one coat on, they literally are a block colour. They're very like full coverage for the lips as you can see here. You know, that's just off one or two swipes of each. So I'm going in now with the shade Driver number 55. So that is what driver looks like. So it's a very orangey peachy tone. And I do think that this will be my new everyday lip color because this is the type of nude that I normally go for. So I actually do love both shades, but I think I do prefer this shade driver. So this is probably my new favorite. I also use Poet, which is number 60 and I love that, but I feel like this is definitely more me. Now, can we just add, because it is a review and this is an important detail, um, Maybelline do test on animals so that for me is a downside to this brand and these products apart from that I think the price point how well the product performs the shade range and how the products smell they've got like a lovely vanilla type of smell it reminds me of yeah like a nice vanilla smell so for all those things it's all a thumbs up however they do test on animals that for me is not something I like to promote or really buy products that test on animals. So if anyone knows of any dupes for these shades, you know, cruelty-free versions, then please leave me a comment down below as I'd love to support more cruelty-free brands. Thank you so much for watching. Also, please let me know in the comment section which lip color you prefer, which one you think actually looks nicer. I'd like to hear other people's opinions, but for me, it's definitely driver. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next tutorial.